how much does a trademark application cost? In a perfect world, you would file for every trademark your business conceives of. However, you need to always consider the cost benefit analysis. I'm Jason Rosenblum, intellectual property attorney, protecting my clients' products, their brands, their businesses from getting it ripped off. And a large part of what we do is prosecute trademark applications before the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. So for filing a trademark through an attorney, there's both the attorney's fees as well as the USPTO official government fees. And here you can find always the USPTO current fees on the link. We'll put this in the video below. At the USPTO.gov, just search for fees. But in most cases, you're going to either be following what's an application, a T's Plus, which is $250, or an application, T's Standard, which is $350. And the main difference between those two is that for a T's Plus, you use predefined descriptions. And one of the best ways to figure out if you can fit into that is by looking up the descriptions here. So, you know, if you do a lot of work with SaaS providers, so if you do search for SaaS, It'll start bringing these up and you can see if you're able to, you know, work your description, what describes the product or service you're selling into those goods. And if you can, then you can file for 250 and that's 250 per class. You don't have to file in every class that you use it in, but it's a good idea to get the broadest protection. Again, as I noted before, there's always a cost benefit. So if you're primarily a SaaS, you know, provider, you might file there. However, we do have clients that have a SaaS, but also that means they have a downloadable mobile app. So then they would also be in class nine for, for just that. Being a little bit slow, but as you can see, there's some of the class nines for that. That's for the actual software, the product. There we go. That's usually in class nine. And that's the difference between a service mark and a trademark. You know, providing SaaS as a service mark and providing the trademark, providing a product is it's considered a trademark. You can have one application that covers both. Um, it's pretty interchangeable in the U.S. Uh, now. There are some other fees if you decide to file based on intent to use. And what an intent to use application is, is when you have, you're not selling the product yet or the service is not available, you can't file based on use because you don't have actual use in commerce. That's where all your rights stem from in the US. But what you can do is file an intent to use application to give you an earlier priority date to kind of block out when someone else would have to file that would have had to file or use before you to create a priority. But what happens is with a intent to use application, which is a section 1B application, at a later date, you're gonna to have to show how you're actually using it. Right here where it says timely style, file your statement of use. So there will be additional fees for that. And if for some reason you don't have use in time by the time it gets approved and you, uh, by the time it gets approved and, and, and you need to file that because you get six months from the time the notice of allowance is issued. And I have a separate video that, that describes the whole process um, that you can look for on the channel, or we'll link to it in below. And you need to file either an extension of time or file within six months, the statement of use, I'm sorry. Um, the fees for that are, For the statement of use, it's $100 per class. And for the request for the six month extension, it is 125. So those are the additional fees that you might have to pay if you're based on intent to use. Now, that's talking about, about the official fees. For lawyer fees, it can vary. Um, we're very big on conducting a clearance search first for a number of reasons to ensure that you're not infringing on someone else's rights, as well as giving you an idea of what's gonna happen once you file and figuring out what is the best way to file. So at the current time of this, we do that for a flat fee of 750. 
And then if you did go ahead and do that with us, then we charge another 750 for preparing and filing the trademark plus the filing fee. So for a single class application under a regular T's plus application, you'd be looking about 1750. That includes the monitoring, the docketing of the application. If you know there's any issues during the search, we might say, hey, there's probably going to be a rejection, but we believe we can overcome it. So there might be some additional fees later on. And then if there's intent to use applications, you know, as I said before, there's generally at least an extra 650 on top of that for statement of use and, or extension of time. So Bates and Rosalem, just a little bit about what, you know, kind of costs you can expect. Do it yourself. You know, you might just be paying the 250 if it's one class. If you work with us or other law firms, you'll definitely be paying more than that, but you get the experience, the knowledge that we bring to the table. Feel free to reach out with any questions. If you like this video, please subscribe below. And thanks for listening. Always feel free to reach out. We're at 888-666-0062. Thanks.